What's up everybody? Today we're gonna be taking a look at my Vito Pro Pack bag collection. As you guys can see here, I've got some very, very useful sturdy bags here. If you guys stick around to the end, I'm gonna give you guys a rundown on the total cost as well as the cost for each individual bag. My favorite bag, my most used bag, which is actually very surprising. It was kind of a last minute thing when I got it and then it ended up being the bag that I use like the most out of every bag. And last but not least, I'll give you guys the way that I get some of my bags at a discounted price or for free, depending on how you look at it. Just a little cheat in the system that they set up for themselves. But I'll give you guys a, a little look at that towards the end. We're gonna start and we're gonna go through each individual bag. I'm gonna tell you guys what I use it for. I'll let you guys see inside and get a look at it and it might just be something that you're interested in. There will be links to all of these bags in the description below, so if you are wanting anything from this, go ahead and go check it out. We're gonna start over here with all these bags to my right. So the first bag that's up is the Vito Pro Pack MB2. It's got a pocket on this side, big enough just for like a screwdriver, maybe a couple uh, with a D-ring. Same thing on this side comes with a tape clip attached. And then it's got this front pocket here that Velcro shut, just big enough to put a couple uh, little bits in. And then same thing with this, but it goes the entire length of the bag. Barely fits my hand in there. It wouldn't, wouldn't fit a whole lot more. Turn around to the back. You've got this D-ring up here. These two that come, uh, it comes with this handle and then it's got a tape clip back here so you can attach it onto your, your belt or I sometimes attach it onto a backpack or a bag like that and it sits and it rides with me wherever. And then on the inside of this bag, there's not much storage. I've got it actually packed full right now. So what I use this bag for is tools specifically that I use for guns. It's just an open compartment that goes the length of the bag and you can put whatever you want in there. I think that's that's the whole point is the meter bag. That's the MB2 blackout. This next bag here is the MB3. It's the meter bag. It's the third, which means it's the, the biggest. And then it's got the B, which is for this hard bottom. We love this hard bottom around here. It's the way to go. I put this strap on myself. It's from my Vito Pro Pack MC but it does come with a tape clip. There's a, a big D-ring and a small D-ring on both sides. Obviously, it's got the, the handle, the sturdy handle from Vito. This is like one of my favorite parts about Vito too. It's got these pockets, so it's got smaller screwdriver pockets up front and then a bigger pocket right here. And then it's also got a little uh, D-ring here. And then on this side, it's got the same exact thing, two smaller pockets, a big pocket, and then a D-ring here. If we look at the front, it's got, just like similar to all the Vito bags, it's got a small pocket here, which Velcro's shut. Now this has some little bit pockets in the front here. You can see those, just something against this wall, uh, adds a little bit more storage but you can actually get some stuff in this section unlike some of the smaller bags. Open up this top here and still, this stuff is still pretty open. There is a uh, one of those nylon pouches that's here and it goes about uh, to my knuckle deep and so I just keep a couple screwdrivers in there and then it goes all the way down. The rest of this pocket goes all the way down uh, but there's a little bit more storage in here. This is one of the reasons why I like this bag better than the other meter bags. And then if we unzip it on the front lip here, there's this um, little pocket. And then from there, uh, it's just mostly just open, except for you can take out the bottom. It just pulls out and voila, this comes out of it. You're able to customize this little padding here so it can be whatever size that you want it to be um, so you're not limited but this padding does come out there is a pocket that goes from about here down inside the bag it's not very large but there's one on each side so that way if you have something that you want to keep lined up against the wall i guess with or without the organizer in there you're able to next we've got the Vito Pro Pack Tech Pack MC. Uh, this is their smaller version of the backpack, but I love this bag. 
I use it for panel work now, so all my insulated stuff uh, gets kept in here. It's got a pocket on the outside up top, a zipper pocket up front. You can barely fit anything in this, um, and then I usually keep just some identification wipes and earplugs in this. Got a large D-ring over here with a smaller D-ring underneath it. It comes with a tape clip, and then there's two small pockets. On this side, there's a large D-ring, a tape clip, and then there's two small pockets uh, as well. Up top, you've got the handle, which is amazing. It clips on in the back, and you can take this off uh, in order to, to unzip what's in the back side here. Super sturdy. The base is great, it's amazing. We've got uh, a ton of padding back here. It's pretty comfortable, and this one doesn't get as heavy. I do like this bag quite a bit. We'll unzip it, just take a look at it. As you can see, there is a row of storage up top uh, that allows you to put whatever you need in there. Just little screwdriver pockets. It's not huge, they're not huge pockets, but it, it does allow you to put a row of tools up top. In the front here on this, it's got the mesh pocket and then one that's underneath that. There's two zippers here. Below, they do have this nylon, the pockets just like most of the Vito Pro Packs have. Then when you wanna unzip the bag from the back, you just have this little clip here uh, and you just have to push it and release it. It just comes off very easily like that and then the bag unzips. That's so that there's not a bunch of pressure, a bunch of weight on the bag. The inside of the bag from the back does look a little bit different. Um, these pockets are smaller nylon pockets up top and they are more for bits. Um, and then these pockets down here are a lot larger. They carry a lot less things, but you're able to put bigger things in there. They also have the uh, the two zippers, one with the pouch that you can see through, and then one behind that as well. This guy here is the CTXL. It is the tote bag from Vito Pro Pack, and I just have to say, I love this bag. I use this just about every day with my backpack. I did have to buy the strap. I think it was like $20, but it was well worth it. I put my power tools in this. I also carry a tool pouch. Uh, along with my backpack, so the pouch usually just fits in here like this. On the outside of the bag, it's got some smaller pockets in the front here, three of them, and then one larger pocket. It's probably big enough just for my hand. It's also got a D-ring, a big D-ring and a small D-ring on both the front and the back here. If we flip around the sides, it's also got a, a, another large pocket on this side, and then the inside is just open. The bag stays open, it stands open by itself, which is, Pretty cool. It's nice that you don't have to keep opening it up and shutting it, uh, but it stays wide. And so that way you don't have a ton of stuff um, that you're like trying to get to and the bag is closing on you. The walls stay open. They have these nice leather handles. I like this bag a lot. Then on this side, we have the Vito Pro Pack MB. It's their meter bag. It's their smallest one. No hard bottom, nothing like that. Uh, it's got the front pouch here that opens up. I use this all for all my low voltage stuff, just some, some little tools that I keep separate. It's also got this front pocket here and it, it's about you know almost the depth of my hand. A whole lot more couldn't fit in there, but a pair of pliers, something like that will very easily fit down there. It's got the small pocket on the side with the D-ring, same thing on this side, another D-ring. And then on the back here, it's got the two up top as well as the tape clip in case you wanna put it on your hip, you can wear it like this, or if you're climbing a ladder or something. Also got this little slit back here that you can slide something through uh, if you want to. It goes all the way through, the top opens up. It's an open container. Um, there's a small pocket on the back wall here, just a neat little little bag and it carries stuff like that. Next, we've got the TP3. This is the one without the hard bottom. They have a TP3B with a hard bottom, but I actually got this one on purpose. I think it wears more like a, a pouch than the other bags do. Still has the D handles and stuff. There's these three pockets here um, and they are inside of this pocket that goes in the front here, uh, as well as there's a little sliver here. Um, these pockets, 
go through the bag. They are on the side here. They're a little bit more squared off. You have two more uh, screwdriver pockets and then two bit holders, one on this side and one on this side, both connected to the smaller pockets. Same thing as the other bags, it Velcros. This one is like the MB3 where there's actually uh, some bit holders inside of this on the outside wall. This has the D-rings up top for a handle or for a connection with a bag, but you can also slide a belt through this little way here. Uh, it's a pass-through. There's also a tape clip on the back here in case you wanna connect to your belt. This is one that I actually would connect to a belt. The other one's probably not so much. Every now and then this is kind of nice to connect. Another thing I like to do with the TP3 and the TP5B is I use these D-rings and I zip tie them to a lift. Next is the TP5B. This thing is a monster. Uh, it's in a different class for sure than the, the TP3 or the meter bags other than maybe the MB3. This is a huge bag. Uh, it's got lots of pockets. It's, it's, it can almost be carried in as a tool bag by itself. I think of it less as a bag to work out of and more as a bag that you could just like carry in on its own. It's got even a tape clip here. So uh, tape can clip on the front. It has uh, the Velcro, just the same as the other bags with the pockets along the, the front wall here uh, for bits. There's some stuff in there, so it's kind of hard to see, uh, but there's five pockets uh, for bits. If we look at this front section here, there are some small uh, bit holders or screwdriver holders up on the front. There are five of these screwdriver slots up top, and they all go into this uh, little pouch here, which is the front. And then from there, you have two screwdriver, or I'm sorry, two pliers holders. These curve in inward, um, and then one larger holder here, uh, and then the screwdriver holders here. These pockets on the side here, both of them, they go all the way through. They go all the way down, um, and then they're hollowed out at the end, so you can put a longer shafted screwdriver. And there are these clips on the side. Uh, you can put your, your hammer in this. I actually put my drill in it, usually, or my impact, and then there's a D-ring here here and then there's one up here this is also empty i usually put this on a lift uh, and, and zip tie it to the back um, it's also got this little tape clip here and then this is the handle that it comes with it's great i love it mine broke uh, it was my own fault and i know that they have a lifetime warranty but i've yet to fix it and i should but um the Vito pro pack mc is one of their original bags it's a pretty cool deal it's two-sided comes with the the strap attached uh, super sturdy it comes with the sturdy base got a big d-ring on this side and a small one as well same thing on this side there's a big d-ring and a small d-ring underneath it comes with a tape clip and then there's pockets on both sides they don't fit a whole lot and they're empty they're available to the elements as well so i try not to put a ton of stuff in there but you see that I've got this packed out right now with a bunch of stuff. This is a great tool bag. It's one of the cheaper ones too. It's fantastic, it's a small size. And if you have a strap on this, which it comes with one, uh, the one I had on the MB3B, one side is for your more traditional hand tools um, like this. They come with that, that traditional base and one of them is more for your drill impact. It's got larger pockets to it, but as you can see, I mean, there's so much stuff. I, I can keep an M12 impact in here and a meter uh, on this side together. And then obviously, you know, you can fit quite a few hand tools in here. Um, and I haven't even packed this thing out, but it does stay nice and light. It's one thing I like about it. Some of these bags get heavy. This one has been incredibly light. Finally, the Vito Pro Pack Tech Pack Blackout. Uh, this is an incredible bag. It's their full size backpack. I actually just did a video on this. I'll tag it up in the corner. I don't wanna go through the whole thing, uh, but I basically went over the entire construction of the bag. I told you guys we would do it. We're gonna take a look at the prices of each individual bag and then I'll tell you the total at the end. This Tech Pack MC was 275. This tote here uh, was 95. The MB3 was 150. The MB2 blackout was 75. And then over here, the MC was 145. Tech Pack blackout was 320. The MB was 60. The TP3 was 60. And then the TP5B was 90. For a grand total of 
1270 US dollars. That is quite a bit of money and I have to say that I really do use a lot of these bags very often. They have come in handy and you guys know, if you know, you know, like having one bag like this is one thing and then it just leads to another and, and if you're anything like me, then you like everything to line up and match. You like it to be coherent. And once you learn how to use the bags, like once you see what it's like to have this much organization, it's hard to go anywhere else. My most used bag uh, is this guy right here. This is the tote and I kind of did it for the reason I'll tell you guys next about how I get some of my bags for, for free, but I got it because I was looking for a bag in that tier and I, I mean, I use it all the time. All my hand, hand tools and power tools, everything, like it always goes in. Even sometimes my backpack doesn't. This right here does because it carries material, it carries a uh, power tool, and it carries my pouch that I carry with me everywhere. My favorite bag though, I'll have to say, is the, the Tech Pack Blackout. It's just, I mean, it's my bag. It's what I carry every day with me. Really, it's the most used bag, and this might be the favorite bag, however you want to decipher, but um, it, it, it is like, it's just, it's a backpack. It's like what you look for in a tool bag, and it lasts for forever. That being said, the way that I received uh, a few of these bags for free, I know for sure that I received the MB2 uh, Blackout and the TP5. Uh, I know I've received those for free for sure, but they do, Vito Pro Pack does a spring promotion that when you buy through one of their authorized dealers, that they give you code and you go and put it in on their website and you get whatever that bag is for free. So I bought this and I got this because there's a tier one and a tier two bag. There's, they're different every year. They have their new bags that they give away, the smaller versions. And then I believe I got the Tech Pack Blackout and got the TP5B. But there's tier one and tier two and they go through the whole thing on, your web, on their website. But as long as you go through an authorized dealer of theirs, which they're, they're mentioned and listed on their website, they take you through it and you, after you get your bag, you get the code, you put it in, free bag. Just like ships whenever they have the inventory to ship it to you, which is amazing, it's awesome. Uh, I love it and it's such a cool thing that they do. But that's how I've gotten a lot of these smaller bags for free, I believe the MB as well. And then I think I bought the TP3, uh, but those little bags that come along like expensive, but you want them and you want your stuff to match. And now this is the bag that I carry every day. If you guys want to see a more in-depth review of it, I have a longer video uh, that just goes through the tools that I carry in mind. So if you want to get a better look at what this bag is like inside, uh, what I carry in it, all those different things. Go ahead and check out this video next. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I love all y'all. Appreciate you guys. Have a good one.